I chose Marshall hands down because of the people in the program. The faculty here are genuine people. They care about your development as a physician and they're not here to create cookie cutter clinicians. They care that you become a passionate physician who's going to do the right things for your patients. And also I feel like Marshall provides a lot of diversity, not only in our residency program, but throughout all the programs and our patient population. I think that we draw a lot of people in from a large catchment base and that provides us with a large diverse patient population to treat and learn um, as resident physicians. So I think one of the strengths of uh, the program is our curriculum, uh, which was outlined uh, as a redundant curriculum. So every 18 months, the residents will get the same uh, curriculum. Uh, so they'll get it a second time through uh, to help prepare them for boards. Um, we really focused on bringing the attendings in uh, to give their expert opinion in their field, uh, including involving some of the specialists from outside the neurology department to come in and, and do um, sort of subspecialty lectures uh, on that, which I think has, uh, has been well received by the residents. Consider programs that allow for them to develop autonomy early in their career. Many institutions have extremely large residency programs where early year residents, PGY1s, PGY2s, can get lost in the shuffle and senior residents or fellows oftentimes take the majority of the workload and procedural opportunities. One of the great opportunities here at Marshall is as a smaller institution, we don't have quite the breadth of, of residency spots as some of the massive facilities. And this allows our, our younger level residents to really get some, some tremendous experience. There's many different directions you can go and you have the opportunity here to evolve and decide which niche you want to kind of end up in. Um, and there's always faculty who are supportive of you in doing that. Uh, the faculty has gone above and beyond to be available um, and the excitement um, with them for the education both at the bedside and formal uh, didactics has been a really cool thing to see. We see a lot of the common diagnoses, uh, dementias, multiple sclerosis, brain tumors and, and, and such, but we also have a, a very wide range of rare diagnoses. Uh, I often talk to Dr. Nolte about how I feel like I'm still in fellowship seeing the extensive range of pathology and learning something new every day while I'm here. For a medical school that only graduates 60 or 70 um, uh, students were actually uh, hitting well above the national average for matching people in, into the neurology residency. And I think that's a testament to um, not only our faculty but also the, the residents' uh, impact on the medical students and we certainly put a lot of um, expectation on, on the faculty for resident and medical student education but also on the residents to, to grow and become teachers um, to learn um, sort of the intricacies of education. Um, and I think they've had a big impact on, on our ability to um, create an interest for neurology uh, amongst the medical school. I'm staying on as a uh, faculty here. Uh, it's actually something I've always planned from the beginning. You know, growing up in, in Huntington, um, I was always able to witness the, the strong sense of, of family within the community. Um, everybody knows everybody, everybody's always willing to help each other out, and that's the exact same kind of atmosphere that we have here at the residency. We have a family, uh, we have a community, we're all there for each other, we have each other's backs, we push each other. When times get hard, we always have shoulders to lean on, um, which is just great, and I, I want to be a part of that. <laughs>